Hello, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on delay text, <laughs> delaying text uh, in Twine using the chapbook, a story format. Let's jump right into it. So I've got a story here um, using Twine, um, and I'm going to show you what delay text is. So um, it's pretty, pretty easy. Uh, you know, we have some text in our story, like maybe a title, right? And and then we have some more text. And uh, if I were to test this, you would see both parts of the text. Pretty straightforward. Um, with the delay modifier, or like with the with a certain type of code, you can have the page hide a section of text and then reveal that section of text after a certain amount of time, um, which is uh, pretty cool. So, like for example. Uh, I'll I'll have I'll apply a delay to this section of text. To do it, you start with a square bra square opening bracket. Type the word after, and then you say a length of time, and the page will delay the section uh, following the after modifier uh, for however long you tell it to. I'll show you what I mean. Bah, dramatic, lovely, uh, very cool stuff. Um, that is, that's how uh, delays work. You can do delays. Um, you can have a bunch of different lengths of time. Like for, uh, if I wanted to do like 500 milliseconds, uh, which is a half of a second, I can do 500 ms. Uh, half of a second, not much time at all. Um, you could also do like up to a minute, uh, like, like you could have minutes. So I could have like delay for 10 minutes, uh, which is so long. I don't really recommend doing 10 minutes. Uh, that's, that's a super long time. Uh, you could do like one minute, maybe. I don't know. Even that's pretty long, but yeah, delay. Very cool. Um, and delay is interesting. You know, you can experiment a little bit. It applies after all, Ooh, that's a minute. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me make this, let me make this less. Let's do like a second. There we go. Um, it applies to everything after the modifier. Um, so that's something to be aware of. So if you want to um, like have the delay in the middle of your passage, like if I wanted this section to not be delayed, but this section to be delayed, you can use the continue block like that. So now in this situation, will show the sections that aren't delayed, but then the section that is delayed will be revealed. I'll restart that. See, we have both, and then some more text gets revealed. So the uh, so if you use the continue block, anything after continue will not be delayed. Anything between after and continue will be delayed. So that's a useful thing, you know, potentially. Um, and that's everything that you need to know about delaying text with Twine in the chapbook story format. If you have trouble with this, or you have advice, or you need advice, or <laughs> need help, or anything like that, I mean, also if you have advice, get in the comments of the video. We would love to hear from you. Um, check out the links in the description to, uh, you know, uh, a text version of this tutorial. It has code examples and screenshots and lots of other resources for you to check out. Uh, and yeah, I think that's everything that you need. Good luck and happy coding.